Hello everyone. So it's Jay Renee and um, I want to talk about something that I actually experienced today. Um, and it's interesting because yesterday I was filming another video discussing this and um, if you watch the video, I'll put it in a link, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I was talking about in the video yesterday that as a black person with albinism, I get a lot of comments from other black people who tell me, oh, well, you know, you look white, you could pass for white. Why don't you say that you're white? If I were you, I would say I was white. You have the best of both worlds, um, you know, being black and looking white. And to me, whenever I hear those comments, I feel like they don't understand what it is like for us to experience being African American and having albinism and their assumption of what we experience um, to me is inaccurate um, and at the same time you know I was saying I don't pass for white I don't think that people see me as a white person when I walk out in public so, um, and I do know that a lot of times strangers stop me and they ask me if I'm mixed. So a lot of times they know that I at least am probably half black. And, um, and to me that's understandable, you know, um, I could, I think I could be mistaken as an, a biracial person. Um, so today I was at an office. I was, um, it was my first time going to this office. So I had to fill out the paperwork forms that, you know, information about yourself, your name, your address, your um, marital status, and your race. So the receptionist, she wasn't really, she asked me most of the questions. And then she started asking me, she was like, well, where were you born? And, you know, I told her I'm from Indiana. I was born in Indiana. And she says, well, okay, but what is, what country are you from? What country are you originally from? And to that, I was kind of like, okay, yeah, I'm born in Indiana, so I think I would probably be from the United States. <laughs> so I was like, America. And then she's, you know, typing and she goes, okay, here, look at this and, you know, check to make sure everything's okay and sign. And when I looked at the paper, I saw that she had put that my race was white. And that has maybe happened to me like two, three times before. It's not a common thing. So to me, it's like, I don't think that most people assume that I am white. There was two options where they could put two races. So if they thought that I was mixed, maybe they would have put two races there. I don't know. And then the other issue that I have with that is they did not ask me. They just looked at me and assumed that I am a white person. Why not just ask people and let them identify themselves what their racial background is? You should not be assuming that anybody is of a certain um, racial background just based off of the color of their skin. So I looked at the paper and I told her, I'm not white, I'm black. And she says, oh and that was it not I'm sorry or excuse me let me change that for you she just said oh so I was like okay this is this is pretty silly you know and I just want to talk about like what that feels like to be mistaken as another race because people seem to have this idea that to be mistaken as a white person is, is a wonderful thing is something that I should be happy about I should be um, I should want to uh, be able to pass as a white person and that if they were me they would be so happy that they could pass as a white person um, to me I don't get that feeling that wonderful feeling that oh I can maybe walk outdoors and be um, seen as a white person to me hearing that someone assumes that I'm white takes away from who I am I am a black person and I want to be identified as a black person so um, 
hearing that is upsetting you know you get this feeling inside you that's uncomfortable and you kind of feel like no one is understanding who you are because what they see all they see is the color they're not looking at what I feel would be obvious is that you know my hair texture does not look like a white person's hair my features don't look like a white person so why is it that when they see my skin color and that I have blonde hair and they automatically assume that I am white or the other thing that I often get is when I'm filling out those forms if they do ask they'll ask me do you identify as black or white and I don't know what they're what's going through their head but I'm assuming that they might see that I look black but that my skin color is white so maybe they think that I must have the option to choose if I want to identify as black or I want to identify as white and it doesn't work that way I can't just wake up one day and say I want to be a white person I want other people to see me as a white person I'm not white I don't I'm not mixed with white I'm black I am fully black both parents are black that is the only thing that I can identify myself as and people I can't just go around telling people um, see me as a white person because not everybody does and that is just to me it's just ridiculous that people even think I have that ability to like decide that you can't decide your racial background and um, you know or maybe they're asking me are you black or are you white someone had said because um, they might be assuming that you're biracial and they want to know which side that you identify most with um, and you know I don't know what that's like to be a biracial or multiracial person if they just choose one or the other um, as far as I know most of them identify as both um, but um, and that like I said they usually have an option where you can choose more than one racial background to identify yourself so I don't understand that either the best of both worlds I think that's just such a ridiculous statement that people say um, because in the black community and being a black person who has white skin um, there is sometimes a hostility from other people of color um, whatever feelings that they have towards my skin color um, that I don't belong or that I shouldn't belong or that they don't see me as one of them to me this is tied into colorism and people have all these hurt feelings about what color someone else is or whatever you know um, I've been in fights you know I've had black women call me a white girl or tell me that I need more pigment and to me it's very hurtful hurtful that you can be um, excluded from your own community because people have a certain feeling towards your skin color yeah so for me that was just a little bit shocking I mean I think it has happened a few times in the past I felt like okay this isn't a common thing I don't believe that on a regular everyday basis that when I'm out strangers are seeing me as a white person but I really have no way to tell because the only way I know is if they tell me you know um, I've been told maybe three times, three or four times in my life that someone knew me for a while and was mistaking me as being white. And, you know, I'm just like, really? So, but then it's also this this uh, conversation about white privilege that people with albinism experience. And I, I can't outline a specific um, example of that happening for me. Well, I know. I know I don't experience being a black person with brown skin. I have a different experience than what most black people experience, yes, but do not deny that I am a black person. I am still a black person and not have other people try to define me in other ways that fit how they understand the world. You, this is 2017 and people have to understand that your skin color does not determine your race. 
you have to understand that there's more out there than just black white you just can't look at someone and and assume who they are so that's kind of just what this video was about and um, you know, I did share this on my Facebook page and I got a lot of comments from other people with albinism. I thought it was very interesting because a lot of them said that they do experience that a lot and have been mistaken as white people. Um, one person shared that she was at the supermarket and a white lady was talking to her, saying bad things about the black people that work there and, you know, dropped the N-word and everything. and. At the end of the conversation, she revealed to this lady who must must have thought she was white. She told her, well, you know, I am a black person with albinism. And the woman, you know, obviously didn't know. And that's, that's how you know, like, people can be really stupid. It's very exhausting to feel like I have to explain myself. And, uh, and black people telling me, no, you don't experience anything being black. You, you have it easy. You know, um, like I said, there's been times where a white person has called me the N-word. I experienced that too, you know. It's just ridiculous to me that someone can tell me who, who I am or what I am and what I'm not. So I just want to share that. And, you know, you guys, if you want to share any experiences, um, please leave them in the comments or, you know, make a video. I'd love to share your video too um, in my Albinism Awareness playlist that I'm putting together so um, you know because this is definitely something we don't hear about a lot no one really talks about it okay so that's all I have to say for today and thanks so much for watching you guys I'll have more videos coming up soon and I'll talk to y'all later bye